Hey everyone, it's Desiree, and I am here, yes, with another project uh, using the Glimmer Hot Foil System by Spellbinders. Now, this one actually came about when I was putting together my um, guest design spot for Spellbinders, and again, we were focusing on the Glimmer System, but I was kind of going in one direction, kind of went this way, and with what I actually came up, I'm sure others have shown this, but I wanted to make sure that it was focused on so that you could see that here's another way that you can use your Glimmer Hot Foil system. You don't have to use just the plates. So I'll link to videos showing tips and tricks on how to use the Glimmer Foil system specifically, either up on the screen or down below. But we're just gonna focus on the project. So one of the great things about Spellbinder dies for the most part is you can also emboss with them or create stencils and so forth. Now, so you wanna make sure that your die that you're using has those emboss lines on it. So of course I chose my feathers. Um, they have great details on these. Um, and I thought that, again, I wasn't thinking of this now, but I'm pointing out these are the types of dies that you wanna use. Cause I had another idea in my head. Yeah. So. These are the dies that we're going to use. And then there's another trick. But again, you, you, before I get into that, you again, you want to make sure that there are emboss lines when it comes to this to get the full effect of what this could do. So, of course, my panel is going to be four or four and a quarter um, by five and a half. That's our standard A2 size card base front. Now, I had seen this. I believe it was Tina. Um, from Cards and Coffee Time or Coffee Time and Cards. I forget what the title is, but this is not my idea. So I took a piece of cardstock, used a frame die that had that dimension of four and a quarter by five and a half, cut it out so that I knew what the size of a card base is when I'm placing down these feathers. Because what I'm going to do is instead of using a plate, the glimmer plates that are available either through the kit subscription or individually, I'm going to use these to foil. I wanted, I was curious to see what it was. Now, I learned something here. So I tried it the first time. You can see that down on the bottom corner. I'm doing it a second time. What I realized is to get the full effect of those emboss lines, you've got to add another level of a shim. So I have these five by seven chipboard pieces. The same thing as a cereal box. So cut down a piece of cereal box and use that as a shim as well, along with the plate and the thin shim, and then run that through. Now I grabbed my one of my die cutting plates, put it on top so that I could flip that down on there. Okay, because again, it can cut, but it didn't cut through. There's a reason why I'm using that chipboard. The blades are gonna go into that chipboard because I didn't want it to go into my plates for my glimmer. So I'm protecting it, but giving it that little force, giving that more thickness. Now, while it's sitting on my plate, I'm now gonna put the dies back in place because I wanna cut these out. I actually want to die cut these out off of that piece of cardstock. And what you get is you get the impression on your cardstock but you also get the piece of foil, which really didn't come to me until I pulled it off, which I thought, hmm, this is kind of interesting. Now, this is foil, so they're very thin. So you want to be careful so that you don't rip them um, and you don't tear them unless you don't care about them. Okay. It's, it's totally your choice, but I was really loving the fact that I've got the full impression on the feathers of the cardstock, which also includes an outline. It actually trimmed it in the outline as well, but then I also have the foil feathers that match. So here, I'm just going to put them up on this, and again, it's the same weight as a cereal box. Is it that So I'm using that as a shim, only when I'm using the regular dies. Do I want to use that as a shim? So these are the pieces that we have to work with. 
So I have my standard A2 size card base, four and a quarter by five and a half, and it's a top folding. It is in white. I cut down a piece of ivory cardstock to be four by five and a quarter. I'm going to place, just playing with the placement of the feathers, where I want these. I want them to fill up this panel, of course. But then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the foil feathers as the mirror. So I'm going to, tweezers are your friend in this. Now they're very flimsy. You can, I used liquid glue. Do not use a tape runner. I didn't try it. I just knew not to use a tape runner. Think of that. You would just pull it. I don't think it would work. So liquid glue is what you want to use. Make sure it's sitting on your hand so that it can be stable. And where it's going to go is where it's going to go because it is very flimsy. The weight of the glue actually bends that foil down. So move quick, drag it, drop it. There we go, drag and drop. Once the foil's in place, then I'm going to put the exact image of the cardstock kind of offset because I wanna see the foil. Now the foil that I chose, this is one of their new colors, um, is called blush. So it's like a, um, it's like a pale rose copperish gold. Yeah, it's called blush. Um, so it's, it's really a very soft um, metallic. So again, I'm just placing that, but I wanted you to see all of that. You can see how they bend down. Um, and again, once you get them in place, you really can't shift them. So try to get them as close. Tried to shift one and I, it started to tear, so I stopped. Again, do not use a tape runner to adhere your foil. I just know that it would it would tear. Now, if somebody tries it and it doesn't, please let me know. I'm gonna trim off the edges of my card base, of the design base, and I'm going to adhere that right onto my uh, standard A2 size card base, which I'm gonna make it now be a side folding instead of a top folding. I'm going to use one of my Glimmer Plate Sentiments. Uh, it was actually uh, one of their kits, I believe, for January uh, when it came to the Glimmer system. But they do have another sentiment set available, um, not exclusive to the kit. Um, I'll try to find that and link that down below. I think it's great that they do offer sentiments when it comes to the Glimmer system because sometimes just having that foil adds just a little bit. I use the same colored cardstock as I did for the feathers when I did those. And I used, um, when it came to the kit for the sentiments, they came with banners that you could cut them out. So it was pretty awesome. I'm going to prop this up on using some double-sided foam squares. And I'm just gonna place that without covering my feathers too much because I just needed to see everything on that. And then I will trim off the edge. I do want that to go to the edge of the card. So just another way to use your Glimmer system. Again, I am sure that it has already been shown somewhere out in our YouTube world um, and everything else. But again, it was just something that I came across. So if somebody else did it, please, then it's, you know, don't want to take anything away. But I just thought this was really cool. Um, this was really different that you can use their dies that you can emboss with to get those elements out there, um, to get those details, and then be able to cut them out um, and use the, the foils as the background. I just thought it was really cool um, and very different. And of course, you know, we had to use feathers, but you can use any, you know, any image, you know, think of the holidays, think of, you know, Christmas bells, think of, you know, the spring and the sun and all of that stuff with the rays. So there is so much. So just another idea, um, if you're looking for the different ways to use your Spellbinders Glimmer Hot Foil system. So I hope everyone did enjoy this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. All the products that I used, as always, will be linked down below. If I forgot something, please let me know and I'll make sure that you get that link. Um, again, I thank you so much for stopping by to watch my video. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe. Love to have you here as part of my group and make sure you hit the thumbs up if you like this video. Here's a few other videos using Spellbinders products that I thought you may like. 
but I hope everyone is having a great day and take care and always remember, be creative.